Imagine this. A massive warship, 6,500 tons of steel and technology, cutting through the waters of the Philippine Sea. Inside, advanced weapons and sensors stand ready, capable of shooting down enemy aircraft, destroying cruise missiles, and perhaps one day, intercepting ballistic missiles. This is the vision of the Philippine Navy's most ambitious project yet. And among the contenders, one warship rises above the rest the HDF-6000, South Korea's newest next-generation frigate. Could this be the future of the Philippine fleet? Let's break it down. In recent years, the Philippines' military modernization has taken big steps forward. From simple patrol vessels, the Navy now operates modern guided missile frigates like the Jose Rizal class. But if the Rizal class was a stepping stone, the HDF-6000 is a quantum leap forward. Built by HD Hyundai Heavy Industries, this export class frigate displaces 6,500 tons, more than double the Jose Rizal class. That difference in size means this isn't just a ship for coastal defense. The HDF-6000 is a true blue water combatant, capable of projecting power far beyond the Philippines' shores. Its design pedigree makes it even more compelling. The HDF-6000's hull is based on the KDX-2 Chungmyugung E Sun Sin class destroyer, a proven workhorse of the Republic of Korea Navy. But Hyundai went further, infusing stealth shaping and survivability features from South Korea's futuristic KDDX destroyer program. The result? A ship that is battle-tested in design, yet future-ready in technology. Now let's get to the heart of the matter, firepower. At the core of the HDF-6000 lies a 48-cell vertical launch system. That's a huge jump compared to the 16-cell layouts once considered for the Philippine Navy. With 48 VLS cells, this ship can carry a powerful mix of medium- to long-range surface-to-air missiles. This means it can defend not just itself, but also provide area air defense for an entire naval task group. And here's the kicker, if paired with the right radars and interceptors, the HDF-6000 could even be configured for ballistic missile defense. The Philippines hasn't formally pursued this yet, but having a platform that can scale into that role is a powerful option for the future. Of course, no warship is complete without close-in protection. The HDF-6000 can be armed with advanced close-in weapon systems like the Goalkeeper or Phalanx, designed to shoot down missiles at the last possible moment. It also carries a 76mm naval gun, versatile enough for surface targets, aerial threats, and even shore bombardment. But weapons are only as effective as the sensors guiding them. And here, the HDF-6000 gives Manila options. It can be fitted with European standard systems from Thales, trusted across NATO fleets with radars like SmartL and Heracles. Or it can take a fully integrated South Korean package from Hanwha Systems, which offers ESA radars, integrated masts, and the powerful Naval Shield Baseline 4 combat management system. This flexibility means the Philippine Navy can choose a setup that best fits its long-term strategy and budget. Even more importantly, the HDF-6000 is designed for network-centric warfare. It can share sensor data across ships, land-based radars, and even aircraft. That means one ship doesn't just fight alone, it becomes part of a larger web of sensors and shooters, multiplying the strength of the entire fleet. In modern naval warfare, where information dominance is just as vital as firepower, this is a game-changing capability. Strategically, the case for the HDF-6000 is also strong. South Korea has already proven to be a reliable defense partner for the Philippines. They delivered F-A-50 fighter jets, the Jose Rizal class frigates, 
and now offshore patrol vessels, all on time and within budget. By choosing the HDF-6000, Manila wouldn't just be buying a warship. It would be deepening a trusted partnership with a proven ally in the region. But the importance of the HDF-6000 goes beyond specifications and partnerships. If acquired, this warship would transform the identity of the Philippine Navy. For decades, the Navy has been seen as a coastal defense force, focused mainly on patrol duties. With the HDF-6000, it could field its first true anti-air warfare ship, a vessel that can shield other ships, project strength, and command respect across the Indo-Pacific. It would be more than just a ship. It would be a symbol of national pride, a flagship for a new era of Philippine naval power. And so, the big question remains, will the Philippines take this bold step? Will the Navy break free from its modest past and rise into the ranks of modern Blue Water navies? The HDF-6000 offers that chance. A warship, a vision, and perhaps, the start of a new chapter in Philippine maritime history. If you believe the HDF-6000 could be the future flagship of the Philippine Navy, let us know in the comments below. And don't forget, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss updates on the Philippines' defense modernization. Because one thing is certain. The naval race in the Indo-Pacific is heating up. And the Philippines cannot afford to be left behind.